This is a tutorial on a special right triangle, uh, a series of special right triangles that we call um, the altitude to the hypotenuse of a right triangle. We say that because this right here is an altitude, so we're going to call that A. And then to make our life easier as we do these problems, we're going to name the rest of these. Um, we're going to name this leg 1 and this leg 2. And then we'll call this hypotenuse 1 and this hypotenuse 2 because it's part of the hypotenuse of the big right triangle. The first key thing to recognize about this triangle is that this angle is congruent to itself. And so if you look at the big triangle, triangle ABC, that triangle has to be similar to, well, B is a right angle, D is a right angle, C is in um, both triangles, and so it's going to be similar to um, B, D, C, and the B and the D correspond to each other because of the B here and the D here because they're both the right angles and the C is the same. So that means angle A, this angle here, has to be the same as that angle, which also means that this angle has to be the same as angle C. And so we can make one other similarity statement, and that is um, with the smaller triangle on the top left, ABD, and we know that D is the right angle, so that goes in the middle. And then we need to find the one that corresponds to the C. Well, angle B, this one right here, corresponds to the C. And so we're going to say um, it's going to be ABD. From that, we can create some ratios. Um, the, the first and most important ratio um, comes from looking at the two smaller triangles, and so these two, and that is um, we want to look at BD and the altitude, and so we know that BD over AD equals um, BC over um, DD. And then what we can do is we can actually um, plug in our, our values here. Um, and so we said BD was A, and so that would be A over H1 equals H2 over A. And so that gives us that A squared equals the product of AD and DC, which are the two segments that make up the hypotenuse. And that's the first and most important um, part of this theorem, because once you know that, you can go through and find the two legs just using the Pythagorean theorem. Um, this is actually what's called the geometric mean, um, and it's because of this picture that it's referred to as the geometric mean. And so the geometric mean of H1 and H2 is the square root of their product. And if you solve this for A, you would get the square root of their product. We can find some other things out about this. For instance, we can say um, uh, something about AD and AB. And so let's do that one here. So we know that AD, if we're looking at the small triangle and the very big triangle, um, we know that AD corresponds to AB. And then we also know that AB in this triangle corresponds to AC in that triangle. So if you cross multiply, you end up with, well, if we do substitution first, AD is H1, AB is L1, this is L1, and AC turns out to be H1 plus H2. And so if you finish this, you cross multiply and you get H1 times H1 plus H2 equals L1 squared. And so that means that a leg, the square of a leg of a right triangle equals H1, the part of the hypotenuse that's on that side of the leg, times the entire hypotenuse, which is H1 plus H2. You can make a similar argument to prove the same thing over here, where you end up with um, H2 times H1 plus H2, the entire hypotenuse, equals L2 squared. So now we are armed with three geometric means. Um, and using those, we can solve a lot of problems that are based in this triangle of drawing the altitude to the hypotenuse of the right triangle.